In this video, I will show you how to set up your Rode video mic and use it with the Sony A6300. Okay guys, here's the Rode mic. Uh, you can buy it used on Amazon or eBay for around 126 I don't think they make this particular model anymore. Uh, so you'll find the new one, the new version of this mic for around $200. Okay, so you got your battery. It has 9 volt battery. Any 9 volt will work. I'm going to open up the battery compartment. And then you're just going to match up positive and negative. And you got to put it in like so. All right, you close the door here. So it clicks. Okay, now your battery is in there. And then the way you turn on your mic. You flip it to on. And uh, if you go further, this is a high pass filter. Now obviously it's not connected. So when it is connected, this light on the side will be green. Now a little bit about what this is. This is the shock mount that comes with it. So when you buy it, it comes with these little extra rubber pieces in case it, they ever break or fall off. Uh, I've never had that problem, but uh, that's what they're there for. Uh, and it works really well. Here is your bottom piece, which will attach to the hot shoe. It spins, and after this, uh, this part of the video, I will show you how to connect it. It's a regular mini stereo jack. Uh, a little bit about this. So, when you have it on the on position, it's flat. So, if you go further up, where you see this line right there where it shifts, this is 80 hertz high pass filter so basically it'll cut out any rumble or any low frequencies for you um, it's not the best but uh, it helps out a little bit uh, most of the time if you're just doing an interview you can just leave it on on okay so if you want to look if you want to see what it looks like it's a shotgun type mic so let me take this off I've never used it without this piece I always have this piece on, but that's what it looks like without without the foam on it. Okay, so this is the setup. This is how you attach it to the Sony A6300. Uh, before I do that, I want to give you a little tip. When you get your mic, it comes with the hot shoe mount set to the middle. And you can actually unscrew this part if you wanted to adjust it. You can unscrew this piece. You can take it off and uh, you can move it to the front if you need to adjust it. So this is movable. You just got to unscrew that part and you can move it to that piece. So that's my little tip. All right, so how do you attach it? So here's your Sony A6300. So what you want to do so you want to find, see where it says 4K on that part. This piece comes off. So this is going to slide right off. Okay, so that reveals the hot shoe right there. There's not going to be any electronic contacts. So once you got that part off, then you can mount your mic. What you want to do is you want to have this piece and you're going to slide it in. Just like that. So now it's in there and you just want to secure it. You want to secure it by spinning this clockwise. Spin this clockwise. Now it's on there and it's not going to go anywhere. 
Okay, next step is you wanna pull out this little door here. There is your mic input. So you take the cord and you're gonna plug it right in there. So this is what it looks like. That's your full setup. Now, let's go to the next video and I will show you the menu. Okay, so now once you have your mic set up on top of your camera and it's hooked up, it's time to set it up in the menu system. So you want to turn on your camera. And what you want to do is you got to make sure that you're on film mode. So once you're on film mode, you want to go to the menu. Hit your menu and it's going to be it's going to be under number 8. And you want to go down to audio record level. Okay? So you click that. As you can see right now, the mic's not turned on, so I'm going to turn the mic on. So now the mic's on, and you can see, as I talk, it's picking up my voice. And you can also lower the, the volume from here. So if you're in a loud situation, you want to cut down some of the noise, you can lower it. And you can see the meter is going down as I lower it. And then bring it back up. The more I bring it back up, the more you see it. And then it you can go all the way up to 30, but I would not go that far because you can see it's peaking. So if you're doing an interview, 25 should be ideal for recording speech. Okay, so I want to leave you with some examples after this. We're going to do some audio examples and then some speech examples. This is a sound check for the Sony internal mic. One, two, three. This is a sound check for the Rode video mic. One, two, three.